in my country, I'm no longer able to pay for a Netflix subscription because my government orchestrated a currency and financial crisis and blocked all international transactions. In my country, I have to go each week to the bank and wait for hours in line just to withdraw my salary from the ATM. Yes, in 2021, I still have to withdraw banknotes because I cannot choose my credit card anymore. Even better, in my country, you could lose your life savings in the blink of an eye. This is the story of the many hardworking women and men of my country. This is also my story. What I'm describing is the current economic state of Lebanon. And blockchain can solve it with a new payment system incorporated by the blockchain technology. From cryptocurrency to smart contracts, blockchain is propelling us to the dawn of a new revolution. I'm sure you have already heard those words, but have you ever wondered how they are affecting our daily lives? And how can they transform the largest industries? Blockchain is not just a financial revolution. I believe just like how the internet in the 2000s changed the way we communicate, blockchain is set to transform all human affairs as we know it. I come to you today because three years ago, I embarked on a new journey when I joined the FinTech. At first, I worked in traditional finance, but six months in, the company shifted to crypto. And this is when I was tasked to lead our main crypto project. We started it from scratch, from the drawing board. I have learned so much over the course of the past two years. So today, allow me to share with you my journey through the crypto sphere and the blockchain world. So what is blockchain? Blockchain is a decentralized database. To, be to better illustrate it, I'm going to take the example of a wardrobe. Inside of it, you have all your clothes. Just like it, a database is a wardrobe that contains all the information. The difference between a regular database and the blockchain is that blockchain has the ability to not only store the data, but also the history of the data. It stores where and how the data went, who has it, and guarantees the security of your information. In other words, once an information is stored on the blockchain, you cannot change it or alter it. And this is how I would define the blockchain, a non-falsifiable, secured, and decentralized database. So what is decentralized? In a decentralized world, more power is given to the people like you and me. There's no one who is more important than the others. There is no central bank, no central control. In that sense, the governance of the blockchain is decentralized. The first use case on the blockchain was Bitcoin. It was very revolutionary because people behind it wanted to change the world and change currencies by providing a trustable digital currency with no need of a central bank. And what we call cryptocurrency is actually a decentralized currency that does not need proper governance. And the transaction needs to be validated by the majority of the network instead of one central body. And as it is created on the blockchain, it does not only contain the data, which is the value of the coin, but it has records of where this data came from, where it went, who manipulated it. You can track all of its movements, which makes it much better than the traditional system, as with all the information embedded in it and its open access, you can identify money laundering operations, for example. Today, central banks are printing money. Unlike a regular currency, Bitcoin does not need a body to print it, 
since it is printed on the cloud by servers and softwares. And this is what we call mining. Today, we still deposit our money in our traditional account. We don't have it, our bank has it. At any point, a government entity can decide to exercise a capital control and I could lose my access to my equity. However, if I owned cryptocurrencies, since they are printed on the blockchain and deposited on the internet, I could have direct access to it using only my crypto password. Today, if I want to send money, I have to go through my bank, my bank through the central bank, the central bank through other intermediaries bank, which makes it very complex and involves many parties. On top of direct access to my money, blockchain enables instant transfer of our money. The transaction is validated, recorded, and secured directly on the blockchain, which is a major enhancement in terms of cost and time of the transaction. And in less developed countries, this could put an end to corruption. Blockchain features and functionalities have developed beyond financial instrument, as it has potential for many areas in many large industries, using the second application on the blockchain, Ethereum, also known as smart contracts. What does it mean? On top of its interesting value as a coin, it is possible to predefine parameters that once triggered can automatically execute a contract. And it has large effect on the travel industry. Let's go back to the last time you traveled. My guess is you had to wait at least 60 minutes in line, either in the queue to check in or boarding, or you may have waited for hours just to get your luggage. It never arrived and you had to go to your important meeting in shorts. Blockchain steps in this multi-trillion dollar industry to provide us with more reliable and secure travel solutions. Let's start with the identification process. Think of all the data you need when traveling, from booking a hotel to a flight reservation and at the airport. Using blockchain technologies, all this data can be securely stored on the blockchain and accessible at the airport. It will also be provided to hotels and airlines. These parties will make sure that the traveler is having a safe and correct journey. And of course, making the travel more convenient to the people. 24.8 million pieces of luggages got lost in 2018 alone just because airlines relied on their central tracking solution. Blockchain can provide timely information about the movement of your luggage. Using decentralized databases, airlines can share real-time tracking data easily and provide a single source of truth of your check luggage from the boarding to the plane to the arrival airport. The traveler will have access to this data using his smartphone. Blockchain knows no boundaries. Interest in crypto has accelerated as major leaders started adopting it. The government of China, the Bank of Japan, they both started pilot experiment phases to create their own digital assets. MasterCard Incorporation said it would allow cardholders to transact in digital assets. Elon Musk announced that Tesla invested 1.5 billion of dollars in Bitcoin. Twitter and Uber are also considering getting paid in cryptocurrencies. There are millions of transactions happening. The implication is huge. It's a big success. 
major leaders are making the first step, and I believe the humanity will take it from here. Blockchain should transform and reinvent so many industries. Insurance with smart contracts triggering automatic reimbursement. Healthcare with your medical life accessible all your life. Even the agriculture with the traceability of your food from consumption to production. We are now at blockchain 3.0, which means that blockchain evolved from its first and very complex first version with the creation of Bitcoin to blockchain 2.0 with the rise of Ethereum, but still had many inefficiencies. Blockchain 3.0 should be the final push it needs to gain its mainstream adoption. With the creation of robust and useful applications, this evolution reminds us of the iPhone. When it was first created, we didn't need it. But nowadays, can we live without a smartphone? The question is no longer if the blockchain works, but how we will make it work for us. Thank you.